Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm Code Creator, and welcome to my first video. And today, I'm doing a series on how to make your own Discord bot. I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's get started. Um, so as you can see on this monitor, I have a file called Discord Bot. So that's what we're going to be using while we do this process. So there's actually a few things. There's actually two things you're going to need for making your Discord bot. One is going to be Node.js. Which is basically like an engine, which uh, which will allow us to make our Discord bot through um, another program called Visual Studio Code, which is the other program that you're gonna have to download before we before we start. So you can just pause the video here and download these two things if you haven't already, and then after you've downloaded that, then we can continue. So you have the two downloaded, right? There, so we're done that. The next thing you're gonna need is to go to your Discord and open up just like a random group, really, or server. So I just made a server called YouTube Tutorial. I already have one. I've made one. I've tested it and everything. It's called Epic Discord Bot because I have a server called the Epic Discord Club, which you can join. I'll put it in the server link. I'll put the server server link in the description and. Yeah, so make your own make your own server, and then if it connects you for some reason, if it connects you in general, just go off that. It it doesn't really, it doesn't really make any sense why I just connect you to a voice channel anyway. But okay, so once you make that, the next thing you're gonna want to do is go to a website called Discord Developer Portal, which is basically where you can make like start your own Discord bot. This is where all the fun begins right here so the first thing you're gonna do you're gonna see new I already have a bot you're gonna go to new application and don't worry all these links will be in the description so you don't have to worry about that so just go to new application and then this is where you name your bot so I'm gonna name mine I'm just gonna name mine a uh, discord test just to show you I'll create it and then you'll see this this is what you're gonna see You'll see general information. Your main ones you're going to want is general information and bot, basically. So this is the general information where you can add your Discord, your uh, bots like icon. You can change its name, um, give it a description if you want, and this is your client ID. You really want to you're going to really want to keep this. You want to make sure no one sees it. Anyway, here's where you want to gonna really make your bot. You, you're gonna go to bots, and this is where you build your bot. This is where you're gonna get your bot to life, basically. You're gonna click add bot, and then yes, do it. A wild bot has appeared. Yes, that's right. So, this is the icon. You can change its icon, and again, username and token. This is this is also very important. So, this is where the next website comes in. It's called Discord Permissions Calculator. And again, I'll have it in the description, the URL. And this is where you can add your bot to the server, basically. So you want to go to your bot client ID. Copy the client ID and paste it where it says client ID. So there. Now you're going to have a link down here. So this is what, just pick what you want it to give. So I'll just, I'll just give it administrator, which is 8, I guess. Um, don't worry about these. Th these are fine. Just click, just right click, open a new tab, and this is the this is usually what you see when you join a server. This is the real link where you're adding it to your server. So add a bot to your server. Select the server. You're gonna want to go to YouTube tutorial. It says administrator. So just give it administrator. I'm gonna give it administrator just to show. Click authorize. So now it should be on your server. So if you open up Discord, there it is. You're at Discord test. It's right there. So now it should be on your server, and that's the first step done basically the main process so the next step is going to be opening command prompt so how do you open command prompt well all you have to do is go over to here and type cmd and then that'll open up command prompt which was right here and this is so this is command prompt what you first want to type in the command prompt is to get you want to get to your folder because then this is where we're going to be adding it's gonna add files to your Discord Discord bot folder. The first thing you type 
is CD desktop. Click enter, and then you'll it'll be on your desktop. Next, you want to do CD Discord bot. So now you're inside your folder. The next thing you're going to want to do is type npm in it. And now what basically this is going to do is this just installed the JSON file. So make sure you have this. It'll say press that C anytime to quit. Just make sure you have this. And then the next thing you want to type is just go to enter. Just press enter and go to the next one. It'll take you through a few things. The version, I guess it's version 1.0.0. Next, next. So this is the main file, index.js. You're going to see that on your folder. Next, next, next. Now, author, you can just put your name. So I'll put Nick. And if you guys didn't know already, I'm actually Slick Nick from the other from my other channel on the game channel. I'll have it in the description. If you guys did not know, this is my other channel for coding and everything. So anyway, back on topic. So author, Nick. Next, and then next. And then it says, Are you, is this okay? Yes. And you press enter. Basically, you just installed the JSON file on your Discord bot folder, which is right here. So this is package.json. That's what it installed on your thing. Next thing you're going to want to do is to open Visual Studio Code. So we can minimize this. Open Visual Studio Code. So we'll open that up. Okay, so this is where you would be right now. It would say, Welcome to Visual Studio Code. Here's what you want to do. Go to Open File, click File, and then Open File. Then you go to click, you click Desktop, click Discord Bot, and then click Open. Click Package.json. And now this is your Package.json file. Don't worry, you don't have to change anything in here. Is we're gonna be on a different file, basically. But the next, the next thing you're going to want to do is to open command prompt again and then type in npm install discord.js and then space dash dash save you click enter and it's gonna go through a whole bunch of different things now what this did was cre it created a whole bunch of more it created more folders inside your discord bot so now you're gonna see create a new folder called node underscore modules and this is where all your discord like what makes your discord bot run basically so make sure you don't delete that <laughs> that's very important so we can open up this visual studio code next step is to make a new file under discord bot so what you want to do is go to open folder no space modules discord bot select folder so now you'll see discord bot so what you want to do you want to click new file and then you want to name the file index.js click enter and it's going to take you to a brand new script thing basically all right, so the first thing you're going to want to type in here, this is where you're going to be scripting. Const discord space equals space require bracket parenthesis and discord.js. So there, now number one is done. You click enter and it'll take it to number two. Again, we want to make another const, but then we want to do bot space equals space new discord dot client oh that's the wrong one discord dot client then close brackets and then that oh actually I forgot to add that up here as well basically what this did is we need a token like we added the main part but we need a token for it to go online so we want to go to four, so two enters, and then you want to put another const, and then you want to put token equals per brackets, or sorry, parentheses, discord token, and then add that. So that's the that's number four, and then you want 
bot dot login will put this down to 10. So you want bot dot login and then token close brackets and then that. Okay. So basically I want to see the bot online so like I know what's online. So I can see I want to type something so I know when I need to type something so I know what's on online or I understand that the bot's online. So what I want to do is go to six and then go to bot dot on and then br bracket br bracket parentheses ready and then comma space two more brackets closed and then we're gonna want to add a arrow function so you want to do equal sign function that's the wrong one function like that so to get that you just add the add these two to get the arrow and then you want to add this which is like, like a special kind of bracket and then on seven you want you want to press tab then do console dot log and then bracket parentheses this bot is online and then you want to close it off with that and then on eight we want to add this one and that there you want to go put your mouse like down here you'll see the arrows bring it up now you're gonna see the terminal it'll say PowerShell you'll see the terminal which is basically just command prompt but it's way it's way easier to do it on here alright so what you're gonna want to do is go to the terminal make sure you're on terminal it should automatically have it on terminal space do node space dot it's gonna say this bot is online so now if we head to our discord and now look our discord bot called discord test is now online and it's ready to ready for action he's ready for the challenges he's about to face with your server so if you already have a server you can add you can you can use this if you, I'm guessing you already have a server but you can use this to your server it'll help a lot if you don't have a bot bots I re definitely recommend I have a whole bunch of them right here and right here like I just have a whole bunch of bots so it's very useful to have bots in a server definitely so well now that you got it online that's basically it that's all you have to do you've gotten this is just the basics so I'm gonna be doing this in series so it's basically just the basics of how to get your discord like how to make a discord bot it's it's the basics it's the it's the start comment down below what um like what you want me to teach you with JavaScript on what you want your bot to do so if if you want to learn like commands you want to learn a greeting just tell me in the comments and I will happily think about doing it and see if I have time and I'll figure it out, learn it, and I'll do it for a video. So that's basically about it. As long as, long as it says node space dot and it says this bot's online, you've basically complete, completed every step with your Discord bot going online. Now, if you want your Discord bot to go offline, just press control C. It'll take a minute for it to turn off on the Discord servers for some reason. Doesn't go off instantly, but it'll go off one in like a minute or so if you just leave it. So thanks, thank you all for uh, watching. Comment down below what any uh, any other scripts you want me to tell, teach you about. I'll be happy happily to answer your question. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and that's about it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Peace.